for the sign of Pisces. Hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember the bottom cards are paired with the top cards and I'll be going to the past present challenge and outcome. So in your recent past we have the Knight of Pentacles. Now this card it points to the responsibility and duty that is part of any love relationship. You knew that love is not all wine and roses. True love is a willingness to work together to get through any rough spots and to work on the relationship. The question that you asked yourself in the past was, how well are you meeting your responsibilities? Or that's what you should have asked yourself. Because if you were looking for love, when this card comes up in a reading, it's a clear signal that you probably need it to vary or change up your routine and try new things if you wanted to meet someone new. Your usual search, it left very little to be desired. And we have this card paired with a death card. Now, if you are or you were clinging on to a relationship that you were not happy in and you didn't want to let go of it because it was familiar or because you hated to be alone, you were doing yourself or your partner injustice if that's what you were doing. You needed to have a frank and honest discussion about any problems that you had in the past. If they can't or won't make any changes or you can't or won't, then perhaps that was the time to let it go. Not all relationships are flexible, but you should or you would have tried to fix it. Now, this was your past. We move on to the present, the will of fortune. So, with the will of fortune, it's possible that a relationship needs to be renegotiated or is possibly no longer going to suit your needs. Now, keep in mind, this, this does not mean that if you are in a committed relationship, that it is doomed. But only that you will need to take action to make sure that it makes it. So talk about how you're feeling. That's the best thing to do. If you're looking for a relationship, first get it very clear on exactly who you are or what you are looking for then get out and mix and mingle, whether that is online or by allowing friends to introduce you to someone that might be right for you. And we have this card paired with the Seven of Pentacles. Now, the Seven of Pentacles, it points to things going very, very well for the person that you have your heart set on. Or it could be you. It could be vice versa. Now, if you are not in a committed relationship, you need to be open to other possibilities. You have to remember that none of us have just one person that is the only person that we can be with and have a deep, soulful, happy relationship. So don't give in to feelings of suspicion or fear. Just know that all is well. And with these two cards paired together, the Will of Fortune is just reminding you that you're in a relationship, you may need to renegotiate. 
talk about ways to make the relationship better suited for the both of you. And if you're single, get out there and mix and mingle and allow friends to match you up with someone. Because this card is paired with the Seven of Pentacles, which is, it's a great time for love. And things should be going well for yourself or the person that you have your heart set on. And that's your present. Now we move on to the challenge. The Six of Swords. Now, in the context of love, the Six of Swords, it can mean there's a need for a change of scenery. If you're already in a relationship, take your loved one on a vacation or a trip, even if that means just going for a picnic, a walk down the street, or something of that nature. Now, if you're looking for love, this card points to a need to get out of your normal routines and your usual search for love if you want to meet someone new. You have to remember to explore. And then this card is paired with the Tower card. Now, just keep in mind, this can be, but not necessarily, not always, an indicator of a relationship that's about to end. So if you're already in a relationship that is, or that you absolutely positively don't want to see come to an end, it's an important time now for damage control and for clear communication. So find out how your partner is feeling. Find out how they're doing. Don't make assumptions. Find out for sure. So with these two cards paired together, the Six of Swords, there's a need for change of scenery. If you're in a relationship, take your partner on a trip, a vacation, strolls in the park would even be good. There's just a need to mix up the routine. But there's really no need for worry. But being that it's paired with the tower card, if you're, if you're in a relationship already, don't make assumptions. Find out what your partner is thinking. And if you feel it's about to end, you could definitely turn things around and do damage control. But you have to make sure not to make any assumptions. Any assumptions and you need clear, clear communication at this time. And that's going to be the challenge. And now we move on to the outcome. We have the Ace of Wands. Now, if you're single, this can indicate the beginning of a new, brand new love relationship headed your way. Make yourself available for love in whatever way makes sense to you. Because if you are already committed, this card tells you that the new relationship is about to undergo a new beginning. And you will rise to new levels of understanding each other. Express yourself. That's what you're going to need to do. And this card is paired with the moon card. Now this card points to a highly emotional time in a relationship. Things can quickly become heated or uncomfortable. Take a break if that's what you feel you have to do. Don't make assumptions and fight fairly. If you're going to fight at all, that's what you need to do. Pick your battles and be sure to treat your lover like a friend. Don't be in a hurry to end or to begin a new relationship, this is probably not the best time for either course of action. So with these two cards paired together, the Ace of Wands is letting you know it's a great time for new love relationships 
and they could be headed your way really soon. But you need to make yourself available for love. And the Ace of Wands is paired with the Moon card. It's an emotional time for relationships if you're already in one. Things can become quickly heated and uncomfortable. So don't make assumptions and fight fairly. This doesn't mean that the relationship is ending. It just means that you need to talk or communicate and it may become heated or heated discussions. And that's going to be your outcome. So Pisces, I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you like to do. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.